more. Hey. <laughs> I can't even speak. Hi, you guys. <coughs> We'd only, we're only awake right now because we needed to order our breakfast before a certain time. Otherwise, we'd still be passed out. We it's also stupid daylight savings. Yeah, we forgot about daylight savings. And all of a sudden, I'm looking at my phone as we're watching movies and stuff. I'm like, it's 3 a.m. <laughs> so that was kind of brutal. Um, but anyway, we have ordered room service. <laughs> we haven't, I don't even know the last time I ordered room service. I don't even know uh, in my like married life if no, we've we ever. Get, probably on our honeymoon. Where? We were in Italy. They didn't have room service at any of our hotels we stayed at the best western in venice <laughs> like it didn't have room service i found it somewhere but i still remember oh with his other wife my girlfriend his girlfriend <laughs> anyway welcome to the morning we are staying in portland if you are new here or didn't catch yesterday's video you can watch that and go get kind of caught up to what we're doing here um he doesn't have a meeting here for a couple hours and so we're just taking advantage of being in the room and we're kind of mildly trapped into this hotel because the Shamrock Fun Run is going on literally right outside the door. There must be a way around. There is, I'm sure. Anyway, it's kind of fun. You can look out there and see everyone running and everyone's wearing green. And anyway, it's kind of cool. But we'll show you our breakfast and then I'm probably going to get showered. And then we're just going to hang out in here until... Let's take a leisurely start to the day. We do have to get over there. Yeah, I, I think... to be too late so we're not home too late for the girls. Yeah, I think I'm going to um, go and take him to his meeting. Maybe go and <sighs> do some shopping or something for a little bit. Even though it's Sunday, I shouldn't do that but I don't know we'll just see how it goes and then I have until four o'clock to stay in the room and then I'll go back and pick him up and then go to dinner before we head home we'll see it takes a while to get home but it's only the girls to home. I know I think he'll be okay because <laughs> I wanted to go to dinner <laughs> but anyway um that's our morning I'm still trying to wake up so All right, here is our breakfast. We'll open it up. We're gonna bring it to the bed because yep, it's almost a hundred dollar breakfast. Yeah, but we have a credit for the room, so hopefully that balances out. Okay, we have orange juice and ice water. I'm having him be my little in-room butler. <laughs> You're my what is it, cabana boy and my hotel butler? I never. I really don't even know the last time we were able to do this from bed. Nice. Ooh, Ooh, that looks good. That looks so good. That little drizzle is like a lemon something or other. <laughs> so that's the egg. We each got one of those. That's incredible. Where are we gonna put all this food? <laughs> I can eat over here. Pancakes for Jason. A little apricot compote on top. That looks so good. So, I guess you're gonna eat over there. I guess so. I don't know how else it'll work. All right. All right. I've got mine right here. So yum. And then look at these cute little salt and pepper shakers. So cute. Syrup, butter. Ready to dive in. All right. Freshly showered and cleaned up for the day. Jason's just kind of gathering the last of our food. So much food. We just need to remember as adults, we can't eat a normal plate of breakfast food. I don't know why we think that we can. We should have combined and gotten one egg plate and one like pancake or French toast plate. We have so much food left over, but we have all day before we're home. And it'll just go bad if we take it to go. So anyway, this I will say was <laughs> quite the luxury hotel room experience. Had it included the spa and that not been closed due to COVID, <laughs> Here, we wipe those off for me. It would have been quite epic to be like laying here in my room. It would have been included in my room. I could have gotten a facial treatment or a massage in the room. <laughs> and I think it would have cost us like 30 bucks or something like that after the $100 credit. Would have been epic. But I do have to say like the second we call, they're like, oh, it's Jason Brown. And anyway, we're kind of getting five-star treatment. Of platinum card membership. <laughs> yeah. We can't do this for the whole family at this point. <laughs> <laughs> and we can only do it on business. Um, events, but I will say I could get used to this kind of a treatment. Well, who could it? I know. <laughs> but anyway, it's the fine hotels and resort on the American Express. Like when you're booking travel, we normally just click on travel, but this one was on the fine, no, no. fine resort. Within the travel search, they always provide their right. section of the fine, elite, the, the fine hotels. Yeah. Their special collection of nicer, higher end stuff. Yeah. 
the ones we can't normally afford. So anyway, this has been a fun hotel stay. After breakfast, we just kind of laid in bed. I watched a movie on Netflix. We just wanted to relax more and not worry about having to come back to the hotel and relax. So we just went ahead and did that, got that out of the way. I'm gonna drop him off at his convention really quick and then I think I'm gonna head to the mall and just walk the mall. And if I get bored doing that, I'll probably just sit in my car for the last half hour or so and read a book. Or, no, I don't have a book to read, I finished it. I do have an audio book, but I can also just watch on my phone or my laptop. Um, maybe I should download. Nah, it's fine, it's not a big deal. But we're gonna head out here. There's no other advantages. No, no. no. <laughs> We've been looking through like our little fine hotels, fine hotels and resort um, information from the hotel. Does so Yes, it does, sorry, forgot. Okay, let's head and drop him off. Goodbye luxury room. I don't know when we're gonna see this kind of room again, so bye-bye. Now I know what was making all the noise last night. Those buggers are noisy. Okay. Give you the power. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> really? Um, I have the debit card or the credit card, so I have the power. <laughs> I'm going to the mall. Let me put. Uh... Or I can have your business card. <laughs> Whatever my, happens, uh, you know. Whatever happens? What is <laughs> on that? On the business, stays oh. on the business. <laughs> yeah, that's how the IRS sees it. Yeah. All right, have a good meeting. Yep. Take care. Just put that in there. Take your bag. Love you. Love you too. Just got to the mall. This is a familiar mall. We used to come and stay here with Jason years ago um, when the kids were little. I don't even think when Ashley was born. I don't think Ashley has been here and maybe I was pregnant with Chelsea the last time I came with Jason. The event that happened with Kaylee that stopped us from coming to Portland on these trips <laughs> happened in this mall. Um, I could probably find the center court where it happened. Kaylee was um, probably like six or seven and just had an epic meltdown. Maybe even only like five. That's how long it's been. She had epic epic meltdown. It involved security. It involved a Karen who would not leave us alone. It almost involved the police because they thought Jason who came over from his convention wasn't the father and he was carrying Kaylee over her, his shoulder to take her out of the mall. That's how bad it was and that's why we stopped coming to Portland. <laughs> That's why when I say, oh, he chose Portland to take me on a weekend getaway, I'm like, I know Portland. It has some negative memories <laughs> attached to it. So we'll have fun. I will have fun in here shopping. I actually want to look for the Disney store because it is not at our mall in Bellevue anymore. And it is such a high-end mall. And I don't understand how Disney couldn't afford the lease to stay there. I'm really hoping that they just moved. But usually they say that we're moving locations. Anyway, I just hope to find something for Ashley for uh, her birthday or just for fun to give it to, give to her today because I miss the Disney store. So if I only get the Disney store out of this mall, then it'll be worth it. Walk with me. Let's leave the past behind. All right, so total fail on Disney Store. They don't have it here. I don't know if they ever have or if it's just gone. Total bust. I'm I'm cheap. <laughs> I shop at Target and at Old Navy and on Amazon. That's and like Shein for the kids and even for myself. I've got a few things from there, so I'm kind of cheap. But I found the cutest store. Actually, two of them. Just absolutely adorable. If I had money, like. Not like a millionaire, but like if I had spending money where I could feel like I could walk into a store and just let my girls shop and buy what they wanted, this store is where I would want to take them. It's totally their style. Oh my gosh, I showed Abby a few things in that store and in Cotton On and I just... <laughs> This cute sweatshirt, I sent her a picture of it before I looked at the price and it was $50 and she was like, oh, I really like that. And then I told her the price and she's like, oh, I don't like it that much. <laughs> and I was like, oh, did you really like it? And she's like, I mean, I did. And I was like, well, I'll split it with you because I sent it. I don't know. I don't like outside of like back to school and birthdays and Christmas. We don't tend to just buy stuff for our kids. You know what I mean? And I'm I try to stick to that. Also, our budget has to stick to that. But I was so tempted to just get it for her. But then that's not really fair to the other kids. You know what I mean? But I just wish I could shop in a store like that. And then Cotton On was actually like pretty affordable. But I don't know what 
I would get for each one of them. And so I just kind of like bagged it. But I was going to go up to the food court or even like get a pretzel or something. But I am so dehydrated. Oh, I cannot drink. wait to drink this. All I really needed was a drink. And I didn't want to pay a ton of money for a drink and some carbs. And even though I want a Coke and some fries. <laughs> <laughs> other funny story I looked up the closest McDonald's to just go and grab a bite and I'll just sit and like watch a show in my car and it was like 51 miles away for a McDonald's that was 1.2 miles away and I was like what in the heck how is it gonna take me an hour to get two miles not even two miles and then I realized it was set on walking because I was walking around the mall <laughs> and I was like oh all right but when I went to like find that one I am gonna drink all of this water before I do anything else but then I realized that there's an Old Navy um, right in the same area area as a McDonald's and so uh, I'm gonna drink this water and hopefully that'll kind of fill me up and I won't need to go and get McDonald's but I want to go and check out Old Navy and see if I can find anything I'm always on the hunt for shorts for Chelsea always I have one more dress pair of shorts coming for her um, in the mail I actually just checked it she in order that I have um, comes tomorrow or Tuesday and a lot of that is for her birthday so she just goes through shorts like crazy and I'd rather just pay Old Navy prices rather than $50 boutique prices. I'm just a cheap lot like that, I guess. All right, so I struck out at Old Navy. They only had the same shorts that I've already bought her. I bought them online using my super cash. And so, eh. Then I saw Ross, and so I kind of went through Ross really quick again. That's why I like TJ Maxx and Home Goods better because Ross is like, it's like the last of the pile. Like, it, there's not much there. <laughs> so, by the time I got done with that, I went and got myself a drink. And also, you guys, I got a, a big, huge ice water to put into my little cup here. In fact, I need to dump this out because look at this. That's what my ice water looked like. Oh, Jason's at the door here. Hi. Hey. Um, here, careful. Can you dump that out? Because look at that. I like started pouring it in and then I glanced into the cup and I realized it was all brown. Here, can you dump this one out too? It like, I don't know if they like had leftover soda in the water thing, I don't oh, know. That's no good. I know, I was so bummed. So. Here, I can, there's a trash over there. Yeah, that's all trash right there. We gotta figure out <laughs> if he's hungry. You probably are, but now I don't have water. Oh, we need water, man, I'm like. We need water, but I don't really, now I don't really feel like sitting down to eat. Let's just cruise up the highway a bit. And see uh, what we find along fine. the way. There's plenty of well, I need I need at least food. one beverage, if not just try and find ice water. But the McDonald's was like out of the way, so I don't think Joy is gonna take us where we need to. All right, we're gonna figure this out. I've checked in with the kids, they're all doing fine at home. They're doing good, yeah, they're doing good. Blue is your heart, it's been like that from the start. Okay, a certain someone saw a sign on the road. He saw a sign for skippers, and he got very excited because we do not have a skippers in Seattle anymore. And he got really excited, and we pulled off the exit, and he didn't turn where it said, except you're about to be proven wrong. Because we got off the exit, and I said, like, go by Popeyes, because it was said it was by Popeyes. Oh, just because the sign... This, it's all the food right off the exit that you want to go to fast. the exit is the same thing. Because it shows... Just because they're next to each other on the sign doesn't mean they're next to each other in real who's, life. Who's going to... He won't bet me, because he knows I'm going to be it's wrong. Over, it's closer to Popeyes It's going to be over we here. Right. It, I guarantee you it's on the other side of that Popeyes. It's right there. Right behind Popeyes. Someone okay. was wrong. Right, where is it? <laughs> it's in this building right here by Chevron. Wait. Oh, it it's Chevron station, skippers? skippers. I don't know if I want that. I don't know either. That's risky. I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> That's risky. That's very risky. I don't know. I don't know if I want that. Do you want to go look and find out? Okay, so we're passing on the gas station skippers. I just don't think those are the best combinations that go together. <laughs> it's the only way skippers is still in business. Uh, Apparently. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. All right, we have to try again. I'll help you. All right, Subway One. Super easy. Is he going to let me in? There we go. Yeah, we're going. I'm just getting into the car, getting situated. We just didn't really want like like a whole meal. We just wanted 
a subway. It's a little lighter, feels a little better for the road. Just a little bit. And also, I was like, well, I think I'm gonna get like this foot long. And then Abby likes what I get on mine, so she can have the other half when I get home. And he was like, oh, I'm doing the same thing for Kaylee. <laughs> Even when you're away from your kids, you're not away you're from your kids. Okay, we them. can go. Okay. But we are gonna go get beverage at McDonald's. It's across the way. One is cheaper. Get to it this way, can we? You can. We can map it if we need to. No, it's right there. We drove through the parking lot. Oh, we did lot. drive through the parking lot. But also, we need to replace my water, like non-brown water. So you're gonna go in? We've been driving for like an hour, and I'm like, I need a drink. I need a water. Just go back the way we came in. I know. But I'm just looking. Hello, friends. <laughs> you know what it's like to be gone for 24 hours and come home and see your kids for mm, two minutes and get right back to being a mom. <laughs> I have two loads of laundry to hang up so the kids have clothes full tomorrow. So I'm just right back into it. We had a good weekend. Fun to get away with Jason. And I think we're going to make this a semi-annual event. His next trip is in August or September. I think it's in September when the kids are back in school. And I think we're going to do it again. It'll be kind of fun. I'll say hi to Ashley really quick. Hi. hi. <laughs> You're gonna go take a shower, correct? And you have a little, what is this? What do they call these ones? Stress balls. Stress balls. And do you want to tell them what happened today? I ate peas. You ate peas on your own. I don't think we've told them. She has a little chart. We're trying to, yeah, two more days. She has a little chart and she has to eat peas and fruit and some kind of a protein every day. And if she does it for seven days, then we're gonna go to Target and get her a little prize. Little. Okay, but we're gonna continue eating vegetables, right? And today she did it on her own without mom home, right? Which I'm proud of you. Everyone here is gonna be very proud of you too, okay? But she's gonna take a shower. That sounds so disgusting. Go take a shower and we're going to bed because you've had plenty of relaxed time and screen time today. Well, I have gone outside. Good, I'm glad. You went out and long boarded with Chelsea? This is gonna make everyone dizzy, stop. You went out and just hang, hung out outside? I have a, a surprise for you. I just got a birthday invitation for one of your friends and they're going to- you saw it? I can I can see what you who you were texting, so I can see it. Yeah, but you don't know what you're doing. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, exactly. And you're gonna you're gonna be very excited for that birthday party. It's after we get back from our trip. Day after? No, like a week after. Yeah, you're gonna love it. Is it like a secret? <laughs> no, it's not. I'll tell you off camera. Okay. Okay, go get in the shower. Okay. Go. Go go go. It's cute to see them. I haven't even seen Kaylee and Abby. They're still in their bedroom, but no masks tomorrow. Actually, you need to take a mask. Do you want to go put this one by your bag? Loves the color purple. Okay. Oh, yeah, because. Don't yep. Anyway, I think we're going to make it a biannual event, wouldn't you say? Sure. Yeah. I mean, there's two shows every six months. Yeah. Yep, I'm excited to do it again now. I guess the, the, the idea back then was to not have the kids come with us and it would have been more enjoyable. Well, they were young. They were we young. Go. We had to take them with us before. Yeah. Thank you for taking me. Oh. He's tired. <laughs> I am tired. I'm tired. But yeah, I mean, who else am I going to take? No, I, mean, I don't mean it that <laughs> way. You crossed the wrong way. <laughs> I don't mean it that way. I just mean, of course I would take you. Well, you haven't for years. That's all I'm saying. I haven't done anything but drive down and drive back all on the same day. I know. I know. I understand. No one is taking claim to these pants, and I don't know quite what to do with is them. Is it one of their friends? No, and I put them through the wash like three times now. Uh, so you don't need to sit and wash that wash just uh, fold laundry so although that does get a lot of views on certain channels I don't know why my laundry routine videos linked above if you want to check it out over the years they did really well but there's no like story behind it you don't connect with people now like you do here this way it's like the watching people do their job fast videos yeah like I don't know the ASMR and the yeah, what's that stand for I have no idea <laughs> If anybody knows what that means, put it right below. Seriously. No, I have no idea. I, I don't know what it means. I know what it visually visually means. Audio, sound. I someone told me, but I didn't. I don't really remember. Oh, yeah. You don't even know. Okay, then I feel fine. Told me of it. Yeah, Ashley's over there. No. I don't know like a sensory thing so anyway if you know let us know and we will see you guys next time he's gonna go skiing again tomorrow we're, we're literally like okay can we go again next week can we go again next week because we don't know how long he's gonna have snow can you have any hangers which ones the pant hanger two of them for these okay take care you guys see you guys next time by the way it's always so funny to me i can tell who's brought me the laundry based on what's in the load and this one was brought to me by kaylee <laughs> You can tell by like the number of socks, by the number of outfits, like everything in this load was from Kaylee. Anyway, I can tell. Yeah. 
Anyway, and by the socks. Like, there's only one pair. Of, well, no, there's like three pairs of socks for Abby. And the rest, like eight of them, were for Kaylee. It's interesting, because not everything gets into the laundry bucket, and whoever brings it down doesn't care about anything else that's not in it. They just bring down what they can. <laughs> What's already in it? Anyway, just thought that was interesting. 